Our journey takes us along the stunning Cape Town coastline, where the imposing Table Mountain stands tall. Nestled in the vastness of the Atlantic Ocean, this small yet significant island carries the weight of stories of one man who shaped the nation's destiny, Nelson Mandela. For 27 years, his head was high and his fist was clenched. Nelson Mandela walked out of Victor Forster prison today like a chief of state. Embark on a soul-stirring voyage to one of South Africa's most iconic landmarks, Robben Island Prison. Here in the confines of Robben Island, he endured a long and arduous incarceration of 27 years. But from behind these prison walls, he fought passionately for justice, equality, and freedom of his people. Uncover the poignant tales of resilience, courage, and pursuit of freedom that echoed through these weathered prison walls. Let's delve into the heart of Robben Island, where his history comes alive, where hope has forever left its mark. As we stand at the cruise port, ready to board the ferry, the air is filled with anticipation and a sense of reverence for the past. But our destination lies beyond the picturesque panorama across the waters where Robin Island Prison stands as a poignant symbol of both oppression and triumph. As we sail towards this iconic island, it is essential to recognize the significance and the stark reminder of injustice of the past. Robin Island, once a place of banishment and isolation, bears witness to the indomitable spirit of those who fought for freedom and equality. The lime quarry became a gathering place for Mandela and other political prisoners. In the seemingly desolate place, the seeds of hope were sown. Mandela's famous saying, each one, teach one, was born. Nelson Mandela's time in the lime quarry was a pivotal period during his 27-year imprisonment in Robben Island. It is here where he endured backbreaking labor, the harsh glare of the sun, which eventually took toll on his health, particularly his eyesight. Through clandestine discussions, storytelling, and sharing of books and information, Mandela and his fellow inmates defied their captors by empowering each other intellectually and emotionally. They understood the quest for freedom extended beyond physical liberation. It also involved liberation of the mind. Despite their confinement, Mandela and his fellow prisoners recognized that they had a duty to educate one another, to share knowledge, and to foster a sense of unity and resilience. The story of Nelson Mandela in the Lime Quarry serves as a powerful testament to the human spirit's ability to rise above adversity and find hope even in the darkest places. It reminds us that the true liberation starts with hunger for knowledge and a willingness to share it with others. Each one, teach one. In later years after his release and the end of apartheid, Nelson Mandela continued to emphasize the importance of education and transformative power of knowledge. Nelson Hoi Shasha Glasser.